All right, so this patch, the Kaba and Harugumo got buffed. First, let's talk about what happened a couple years ago when all the other DDs got this exact same buff. Um, essentially, they just removed the ability for Calibers 283 millimeters to be able to full pen destroyers. You'll still get full pen ribbons, but they'll only deal over pens worth of damage. And now Harugumo and Kappa are getting that buff. This is a really good change um, for DDs, just in general, because taking full pens at weird angles, at weird ranges, um, if you're just really unlucky, I've seen gearings get um, full health devastating struck at like 20 kilometers before from like Montana's with, they get crazy dispersion. So a really good change there because that random crazy damage is just not really good for the game, I don't think. So, good, good change there. And it also encouraged destroyers to just sit flat broadside to battleships, kind of the opposite of everything else in the game, where sitting broadside is when you take the most damage. So, from a continuity game standpoint, that makes a lot of sense to change that. Totally, totally agree with that. Um, something that hasn't changed is shells dealing double damage um, and it's a weird bug that's in the game still to this day where a single shell can pen two parts of the ship and deal twice the pen damage so they haven't changed that so essentially a single shell can give you two shells worth of damage so now that it's only over pens on dds it'll give you two over pens worth of damage which i really think they should address that and fix that but that's still in the game. They're just doing. They're just addressing the uh, full pen damage, and that's it. Changing it all to over pens. So this patch, to reiterate, Kabrask and Harugumo are like every other DD. Won't take full pens from battleships anymore. Totally gone. So the result of this, Harugumo and Kaba can play incredibly aggressively now. They don't have to worry about these big giant alpha strikes for battleships at all anymore. Um, they're probably some of the healthiest destroyers in the game just because of their large HP pools and Kaba getting a heal even. And they have some of the best firepower in the game too. So throughout this video, just want you to really just take note of how aggressive I am in these two ships. And really it's all about the freedom that you get now with these two ships to just play hyper aggressively and you're not going to take that big one-time alpha strike damage. So essentially what you're doing is finding situations where you have this DPM advantage or concealment advantage over the enemy team and you just kind of hold mouse one on a ship until it's dead or you've farmed it out for a lot of damage and the enemy team starts focusing you. You just can go dark, leave it alone for a second, and then go back and just farm a ton of damage. These ships are incredibly strong. Incredibly strong now. Um, so for ships facing these two DDs, you're going to have to be really careful. Because they have crazy powerful guns, and now that they're not susceptible to that big one-time alpha strike hit, they're going to be a lot more aggressive and harder to kill. So it's likely that they're going to out-trade you if you're a, an enemy DD. Um, and even some cruisers. You're going to see me take fights with like Des Moines and stuff here, and because it's a Harugamo that pens 30 millimeters of armor, I deal a lot of damage. <laughs> so you're going to have to be really careful in a lot of different ships. Also, a side note, just because this mainly affects battleships, you're going to have to basically stay away from these ships if you're alone. And if even if you have friends around you, it's still going to be difficult to deal a lot of damage to these ships due to their concealment and smoke, or to just the speed and difficulty of hitting like a Kaba, for example. Um, I've had it where I can literally just sit in the open and shoot my guns at a battleship, and there's nothing he can do about it. Because I just move just a little bit forward or backwards, and I stay relatively angled and because of battleship dispersion and long reload times, it's really easy to just dodge that one salvo every, you know, 25 to, well now, 40 seconds. It's it's really, really, really easy to play these ships now. It's really, really easy. So from a single, cl 
class balance perspective, I think this is a very good change. There's a lot better continuity now if you've learned to play DDs at lower tiers or other DDs at tier 10. If you move over to ships like Kaba and Harugumo now, it's going to be a more consistent experience. You're not going to have to worry about this weird new mechanic that's only for these two ships. Makes, makes a ton of sense to make things all the same. Totally agree with that. The problem, however, is when this change is looked at from the other two main classes. I think it makes gunboat destroyers just far too easy to play versus battleships cruisers. It's just the combination of concealment, gun power, maneuverability just gives you so much flexibility to choose when and where to engage and where you're going to impact the game. With, and you, now you don't even have to worry about a battleship slapping you for a ton of damage. Now it's just a very simple calculation of, do I have a DPM in advantage? Is the enemy distracted? Are they going to struggle to hit me? All those things factor into this equation. It's very simple to just open up and start firing your guns. And you know, if you start to get focused a little bit, if your priority target number starts to go up, you just can decide to go dark and move over to somewhere else. It's really, really, really easy to do. So, I, I just am struggling to understand how this is balanced from a battleship or cruiser perspective versus these ships, because even before this change, I didn't really care about battleships in my Kaba or Hergamo. Yeah, sure, it was like, okay, well, I have to be wary that maybe he'll hit a big alpha strike, but if I put myself into good positions, it's not a threat at all. And yeah, I just kind of viewed battleships as XP or damage to be farmed out. And this is very similar to what basically everybody, I think, in my clan thinks when they have battleships on the enemy team and they're playing a gunboat DD. It's just XP to be farmed out. They're, they're, they're just a crop. They're just a crop of damage to be farmed out, and that is it. Um, just see my Kaba video from a couple months ago where I played it with the old AP pens, and I wasn't struggling at all versus battleships. It's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. So I think that uh, these DDs, these mainly gunboat DDs, when compared to cruisers and battleships, are a bit overtuned, um, especially for good players. I'm talking about this from a good player's perspective. Um, I think balancing ships so they're fun for all players is probably right, but tuning the maximum power of a ship should be done taking into account what good players are able to do in those ships. Because if you only look at like mid-tier players and bad players, suddenly there's going to be these weird outlier ships, like gunboat DDs right now, where good players can just massively take advantage of them and just farm damage for free so if you don't believe me on this just go watch one of the 07 streamer guys like bfk and maltese knight play a lot of dds and are very good in them um for the most part <laughs> bfk sometimes eats torps which is hilarious but they're really good they're really really good in their dds and you'll see them just control a game Farming out damage where they need to, contesting caps where they need to, it's just really, really easy for them to have a massive battle impact and get tons of damage. And it's actually really funny to watch BFK when he gets games with like only two or so battleships on the enemy team. He's just devastated because there's no damage to farm out on the enemy team. And as soon as there's like five to seven battleships on the enemy team, he's like, He's like a little girl on Christmas Day or something like that, getting a pony. He's just almost jumping out of his out of his seat, like squealing for joy because of all of the damage to be farmed out. Okay, just just go watch his streams. You'll see it. Pretty much every stream. Battleships aren't scary, man. They're just crops. They're literally just crops at this point for DD and cruiser players. Um, and if you disagree with me on that, that's fine. But I would suggest maybe learning how to play the game a little bit more, watching these streams, that kind of thing. That's a very good way to get better at the game and get some perspective of how a better player plays and how they can impact the game like that. Now, there's been a lot of, I don't know about complaining, but talking about how insanely good gunboat DDs are here. So I think that there should be a solution offered a little bit. So I'm gonna try and keep my solutions in mind 
considering the consistency of DD playstyle, because from a consistency of the game perspective, I totally agree with these changes. It, these two destroyers out of how many DDs there are in the game should not have a different playstyle or different mechanics that you have to learn just for those two DDs. That's really, really weird. And from that continuity's perspective, I really like this change. It's, it's really, really good. The problem is other ships now, I think, are at a way lower power level than some of these gunboat DDs. And it's not just Kaba and Harugamo. It's ships like Kleber and Marceau and Daring to some extent. These ships are very, 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 very strong. So what I would like to see is perhaps reverting it the change of AP pens so DDs can take full pens from a battleship. Um, but you'd have to remove the ability for a single shell to deal double damage. That's just a game-breaking kind of problem where it doesn't make any sense for a single shell to deal double damage. That just doesn't, that, that doesn't make sense to me. So I think that would be an interesting change as well as make it so these AP pens only work when that destroyer has gun range on the battleship. So if the DD can deal gun damage to the battleship, so can the battleship deal damage to that DD with his guns and big damage. That's kind of my thinking about it. So a gearing, for example, with its 11.1 kilometer gun range, I believe, would only take full pens from battleships that are within 11.1 kilometers of his ship, if that makes sense. That way, at long ranges, you're not getting that random, weird, massive, devastating strike salvo that you're just not expecting. I think that would be an interesting change. It would obviously have to be tested and all that stuff, but that's kind of the solution that I have come up with in the short time that I've been thinking about this. My goal with it is to make battleships and, you know, larger caliber cruisers like uh, Siegfried, for example, a bigger threat at close range, but also eliminate those massive RNG hits at long range. I think that combination would make the game better to play because as it stands, this change just reinforces the mindset that a battleship should stay at the back of the map. Otherwise, you're just gonna get farmed out and you're not gonna be able to deal damage back to these smaller gunboat DDs. So you sit at the back, avoiding that damage, and you try and deal long range damage to cruisers and battleships, and that's it. So from a battleship perspective, this is just gonna reinforce the camp at the back of the map. And I know we all hate that when our battleships camp the back of the map, but a lot of these changes recently have been promoting that kind of playstyle with all the HE spam and the inability to deal damage to ships. Like, for example, the ability to overpen a citadel on small cruisers like Smolensk, Wooster, these kinds of things contribute to battleships just staying near the back. Because if you push in and you rely on your guns dealing damage at close range, and then they don't, and then you die because of that, you're just not going to want to push in again. So those are my thoughts on the Kaba, Harugamo changes, and AP pens on DDs in general. Uh, I hope it was informative and you learned something. Um, I think it's a good change, again, from the continuity perspective. I just think that these ships are kind of a little overtuned, and they could be toned back a little bit. Now, to talk just briefly about CVs, and the reason I don't bring CVs into game balance discussions is I believe CVs are not balanced at all, and they don't fit into the game at all. And I think every class struggles to an equal level, but in different ways against a CV. So to say one class is bad against CVs, implies that other classes aren't bad against CVs. And that's clearly not the case, because all classes are forced to play different and forced to be less impactful on the game when there's a CV in the, in the battle. So I think that's just kind of the main issue with CVs being in these conversations, that they're just so game-breakingly broken and don't belong in the game that it's hard to have a conversation about the balance of the other three classes with the CV in place. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. 